Welcome to the RepFinder tutorial. You are watching this tutorial because you want to set up a manufacturer's representative network to sell the products and services your company provides. The RepFinder helps with step one, creating a list of prospective manufacturer's representatives to contact. Before we start, let's spend just a moment discussing what your goal ought to be, and that is to sign up the most professional manufacturer's representatives willing to work with you. The reason is simple. The more professionally they operate their businesses, the more they sell for you, period. So, after you create your list, your first step is to identify the professional business owners as opposed to those who operate as salespeople who pay their own expenses. From the professional manufacturer's representative perspective, they want to find the highest quality principal willing to work with them. And quality is not defined by product or customer service alone. It is defined by how well the manufacturer supports the manufacturer's representatives in their selling efforts. The more support there is, the more the manufacturer becomes the emotional favorite of the manufacturer's representative, and when that happens, the more time they spend on your line and the more they sell for you. The overall goal is to create long-term and mutually profitable relationships. So, let's get started. Log in to the member area of the website and click on RepFinder, where manufacturers go to find new reps. Click Begin Search. This takes you to step one, where you enter product classifications. Let's talk about which ones to select before we move on. Manufacturers' representatives represent multiple, complementary, but not competitive companies. It makes sense to create a list of the complementary products to include in addition to what you provide. The reason is, if you only select what you provide, when you contact the manufacturer's representatives, they are likely to tell you they represent a competitor and do not wish to continue the conversation. To come up with a list of the complementary products, think of the customer for what you provide and ask yourself, what other products or services does this individual have purchasing responsibility for? Use those as well as the classification that best describes what you do. Let's move on. For the tutorial example, let's assume your company manufactures pumps. The person responsible for making decisions on pumps will probably also make decisions for controls and instrumentation, tubing and pipe, valves and fittings. Let's also add process equipment and pumps. The reason we include pumps is there are many types of pumps and the ones they already carry may not necessarily compete with yours. There's also the possibility the manufacturer's representative selected that product classification because they currently don't carry a pump line and know that by selecting that product classification, their company will appear on the list of those manufacturers looking for manufacturer's representatives to sell pumps. Go to the bottom of the page. You may notice there is a keyword search option. Please do not enter any keywords in the window if you selected product classifications. Use one or the other, but never both at the same time. If you do, the results will be very, very limited. Now click Continue. Step 2 is to select the territories you want to fill. You can click on individual states or you can select all United States by clicking on the box. Next, click Continue. The final step is to review the results. Depending on the product classifications and territories you selected, the number of results that come up may be significant and overwhelming. In our example, 565 results came up. Here are some tips on how to narrow down the list. Download these results into an Excel file as this makes the analysis much easier. The Excel file provides the company name, the primary contact, the address. The phone, fax, toll-free number, email address, website, how long they've been in business, how long they have been MANA members, how many outside salespeople they employ, a description of the territory they cover, and a description of the products and services they provide. Here's the first tip on how to narrow down the list. It's unrealistic to believe you can tackle finding manufacturers' representatives all over the country at once. 
You will need to start with a territory that has the highest potential first, then go on to the second, and so forth. So, start by filtering the Excel sheet to display only those representatives in your primary territory. To filter, look for the data function on the toolbar and click on that, and then on filter. Once you do, notice the drop-down arrow on the top of each column. Go to the State column and click on this arrow. Click Select All to clear the check marks, and then select the state or states you want to fill first. For our example, we'll select California and click OK. Notice now that all the manufacturer's representatives listed are located in California. The list is now more manageable. Copy and paste the list into a new sheet and save it. Don't forget to save your master sheet as well. Another tip on how to create a more focused list is to take into account the natural selection process. If you look at the R column that provides the number of outside salespeople employed by the manufacturer's representative firm, you will notice a widespread in numbers, while the P column tells you how long they've been in business. The natural selection process is simple. If you are a large, well-established company with significant existing sales volume, you can successfully contact larger, well-established manufacturers' representative companies. The converse is also true. If you are a new and smaller but growing company, you may need to focus on newer and smaller manufacturers' representatives' businesses. Just because they may be new and smaller does not imply a lack of professionalism, so don't count them out. The final tip is to sort the results by the website column, with those businesses that have websites listed at the top. Those with websites tend to operate at a higher professionalism level than those without. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. You may also want to check out the steps to being a quality principal, particularly step two, selecting the right manufacturer's representative that guides you through the interview and selection process so you end up with the highest professional manufacturer's representative willing to work with you. You may want to check these resources prior to contacting the manufacturer's representatives on the list you create. You will find the steps to being a quality principal in the member area of the website. Please call the MANA office at 877-626-2776 if you need further assistance.